He's armed to the... arms. Hey! What's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Siege Deluxe Class Six Gun! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So in the back here, we have the symbol, which means things and stuff. Siege, War for Cybertron, his name is Six Gun Transformers! That's out of the box, as usual, that very... Very lovely artwork on the other side. You have some nice artwork there of Six Gun. He has a deluxe classic, Classe de Luce, Classe de Lujo, and a Classe Deluxo. On the top, Autobot symbol, more for Cybertron. On the bottom, words and things and barcodes. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots. He does this, that, the other. Warning, don't eat anything in this box. That could be very bad for you. And that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have Six Gun, uh, and uh, he's fun. He's a fun gun. I like him. But uh, here he is in his alt mode. He's very, uh, you know, he's a VTOL esque aircraft. It looks pretty cool. The original Six Gun didn't have a uh, didn't have an alt mode because he just turned into six guns. So you know, they actually decided to give him an alt mode for this line. But it's pretty cool. I think it works. Works for me anyway. But let's get in closer so we can take a look at the details. You got silver right there for the cockpits. You have Autobot symbol right there. You got multiple guns right up front. Some missile launchers in there. You got some more guns here. Lots of guns. Six guns has uh, more than six guns, but hey, why not? You got some nice little detail there. Got these thrusters here done in black. You got some more guns. Look at all those guns. And you got some red and black. Back here, some of that battle damage paint job going on. For will be his feet, you also get a little bit uh, around these sections here and also on the wings. On the back, you got thrusters going on. And there's the top, there's the bottom. Technically visible head syndrome, because that is the top of his head right there. But you know, his face is hidden at least. But oh no, not too shabby, not too shabby. And for comparison, uh, here he is with his wave mate, Ironhide. Here he is with Prowl. Here he is with his fellow weaponizer, Cog. And to compare him with the other uh, flyers in the line so far, here we have uh, Skytreads Jet Mode. He's half a flyer anyway. Whoosh. Here he is with Voyager. Starscream, Whoosh. Voyager, Soundwave, Whoosh. and with Leader, Shockwave. So, there you go. Now, as far as effects parts uh, compatibility, uh, you have multiple points here. You can plug these on there. You can plug these into any of the uh, four cannons right up front. Uh, you can... Plug them onto these guns. Although this, these don't stay on too well because the post for it is very small, but you can plug them on there. Also, you can plug them onto the uh, thrusters if you wish. Have that going on. You also have a couple spots up here because, you know, hey, you can do that if you want. Or getting shot. I don't know. Hey, all things. All things you can do if you want to do them. You can plug it there. Oh no, I got shot in the wing. You know, like, hey, why not? Hey, fun, fun times, fun things, fun things that you can do. But yeah, that is uh, basically it for the alt mode. Like I said, it's it's a pretty good alt mode considering it is a very you know it's a literally just kind of clutched together alt mode, but it works works for me anyway. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's you get a really good spin out of him. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a lot of parts forming. What parts forming? Shh. So, what we're going to do is we're going to remove these sections here. You want to remove these bits as well. And um, what's funny is uh, these sections are the exact same little guns that came with, uh, with Sideswipe. That they just reused for the six gun here. So, let's we'll just remove that. We take this whole top section here. Remove that. And there we go. So now, we're going to 
just untab the thigh here from the section. So just untab it, bring it down, straighten out his leg, flip out his toe, untab, straighten out, flip out the toe, rotate the waist around. You want to take these guns back here and just bring them down like so. And once you do that, we take this section, this will just peg in right up top. These side sections come down and just tab in right there. And right there, we can just bring these posts down, bring down the section onto his chest. Take this section here and just bring that down to reveal his face. Turn his head around and you got that. And then we just bring in his arms and they will just peg on on either side like so. And then we just come back here. We raise up these two cannons right here. Just bring those up. And these little guns will just plug in right there and right there. And there you go. There you have six gun in his robot mode. And it's a good looking design, in my opinion. I think they did a good job of uh, updating his look, but still, you know, keeping it looking the way he should look. You know, <laughs> I think they did a good job there. I dig him. I dig him. So let's get in close here so we can take a look. That's that head sculpt. See the head done in red. Some nice blue there for the visor. White for the mouth plate. But pretty nicely done head sculpt. He now has missile nipples going on there. And you see his hands. All around. Not too shabby in my opinion. Moving up the back. It's got some armament back there hanging out. Oh no, pretty cool. Now articulation wise, uh, the head can do a full 360 and that's pretty much it. There's no other movement there, just rotates. Shoulders can rotate, they can do a full 360. They can move in and out. He can hit himself in the head with his own shoulder if he needs to. Uh, you do have bicep rotation, you have 90 degrees of bend there at the elbow, and uh, that is it. There is no wrist rotation whatsoever. Uh, you get waist rotation. Legs can move forward that far, can move back that far, outward. You can do the full splits. You got thigh rotation. You have 90 degrees of a bend there out of the knee, and toes can move up, they can move down, and you have full ankle tiltage. Now, as far as arming him up, uh, you can, if you want, you can remove uh, these little guns here. You can plug these into his hands, like so. You can even plug these into his biceps, because there are ports there. Hey, that's a thing you can do if you want to do it. But you can also remove these guns right here, which gives him some uh, proper weaponage, as far as I'm concerned. I think those are pretty cool. Looking guns there, so you can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang. So, yeah, and as far as the effects parts go, again, you can just, you know, plug these on here, like so. Plug it on here. Oh, I'm getting shot, or oh, I'm getting shot, or, you know. I thought they plugged onto these, but they don't really fit. Yeah, I thought they did, but no, they don't go on there, but, you know, oh, I'm getting shot, you know, do whatever you want. Have that going on there. If you wish. So again, you have that compatibility with the effects parts, which is always fun. So, there you have that. And now for comparison. Here he is with Sideswipe and Hound. Here he is with Prowl and Skytread. Here he is with Ironhide and his fellow weaponizer, Cog. Here he is with Starscream and Soundwave. Here he is with Megs and Wave. So you can see how that works out. Here he is with Prime and Magnus. So you can see how that works out.
And here he is with G1 the six gun because it's precious. That looks horrible. But it's precious. And here he is with his buddy Metroplex. That's that's how he scales with 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 Metroplex. Yeah. Now, style-wise, I, I think he goes very well with the uh, with the Make Toys Metroplex here. You just gotta have a similar aesthetic going on here. So, I think these two look quite nice uh, displayed together. But hey, as always, your toy, display it however you wish. So now, this is where the real fun begins, because just like Cog, Six Gun here is a weaponizer, so he can be taken apart and become weapons for all of your other figures, and this is the fun part, this is the real fun part, so we're just going to rip him apart, so we'll just take off his arms here, we're going to pop off his legs, and you just want to flip his toes down, and you want to bring down these pegs here, so these become big old cannons, put that down, right there, so you got those guns there, you have these ones here, you can pop these off as well, so those are some extra guns as well, I'm going to turn his head around, and just bring these down, flip this up to cover his face, bring that up, untap these sides here, undo that, you can bring these forward, so there we go. There we have six gun all broken down. And if you want, you can use these weapons to uh, weaponize any of the vehicle modes. One thing I like to do, and I think this looks pretty cool, is if we bring in Ironhide here, you can open up these panels and their ports on either side. And I like to take these big guns right here and plug them in right there. Like that, and have that going on, and that looks cool. I love that. I love that. But you know, one of the many things you can do as far as weaponizing the vehicle modes, but let's talk about weaponizing the robot modes. Now, the instructions give you uh, three separate configurations for weaponizing the uh, robot mode, and the first one is uh, what they're calling the defensive loadout. And to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to take this section here, and we're going to plug these guns into the sides, like so. These little guns are going to plug into the barrels, like that, and we pretty much have that done. And then we're going to take this section here, we're going to bring these posts out, we're going to flip out this post in here, and these guns are going to plug in either side here, like that, and we'll bring Ironhide back in. He's going to be our model for these modes. So what you do is you take this section, this will plug into his back, like so. You want to take this section and just kind of angle it down, and take this section and bring it back to expose a port there. And you can kind of take these guns and just kind of angle them forward like so and now we're going to take this section and this will plug in right there like that which does make them a bit back heavy but we can kind of offset that we can work with that a little bit get them standing and kind of lean forward just a little bit here bitch and there you go and now Ironhide has this huge backpack of murder but it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's a giant backpack of murder. But hey, I can work with that. I can work with that. I think that looks pretty cool, honestly. I like that. Again, it makes them kind of back heavy, but, you know, that's, that's cool, though. I like that. Me likes. Me likes. Me likes very much. So there is the defensive loadout. So now we'll go into the offensive loadout. And to do that, we'll just take all this off his back. And what we're going to do here is we're going to take uh, these guns here, and we're just going to just bring them forward and bring them up. Oop, you don't want to you want that to rotate. There we go. Bring that forward, bring it up. And you can just kind of angle those however you wish. And now this is going to plug 
It's very nice back. I guess that kind of serves like a like a jetpack deal going on there. A jetpack with guns. So we got that. We're gonna remove these guns here. Remove these little guns. Because now these are going to plug in to the sides of this section here. And just straighten that out. And this is going to plug into a shoulder. You can plug it into the forearm too, but I believe it's supposed to go plugged into the shoulder. But again, do what you want with it, your toy. And now these big guns just flip in the pegs here, and these are going to peg in to the bottoms of his feet. So now he has murder shoes. And there you have that configuration. So there you have the offensive loadouts. Which again, that works. Works for me. I dig it. I dig it. So there you have that. And the last configuration is what they are calling the high precision launcher gauntlets. Yes. Now officially, you're not using these bits for this configuration. You can leave them on if you want to, but just going per the instructions, you don't use those bits and uh, you don't use these bits either. Again, you can use them if you want to, but we're going just by what the instructions say right now. And these bits also you don't use for this. You're just using these two sections here for this. So you're just going to take the uh, side sections here, just bring them down, take the section and bring that down like that. And then this section will come up to expose that port and that's good to go. And for this section here, you want to take these guns and these will come down like so. This section here will just come back like that and like that and all that will just angle forward. And then you take the section and plug it into this section like so and you're going to take this and plug this onto his forearm. And that will go over his fist. You can bring that down so everything is oriented properly. And there you have the high precision launcher gauntlets. So it's just a big murder hand now. And again, that works. I can work with that. That's actually pretty cool. That's actually pretty cool. And of course, you know, if you want to, you can still arm him up with all these other bits. You can still plug these on his shoulders. Leave the, uh, Leave the cannons on his feet, do whatever you want, but again, just per the instructions, that's all you're using for the mode. But again, your toy, do what you want. This is just one of the many, many configurations that you can come up with. So uh, yeah, it's definitely part of the fun of these weaponizers. You can configure this stuff however you want on any figure you want, and that's, that's really cool. Can you weaponize your weaponizers? Yes. And yes. And back to Metroplex, um, obviously, yes, duh, uh, six gun is compatible with Metroplex. Wherever there is a five millimeter port on this guy, you can plug a piece of six gun onto. You know, if we have something like this going on, we can take that and plug it into his arm and have that going on. You can arm up the city mode, you know, find a way to make some extra towers for the city mode or whatever. Hey, do what you want. That's part of the fun. As far as the Make Toys version goes, I don't think he's compatible with the Make Toys version because um, I don't think there are any 5mm ports on him. Granted, I wasn't looking all that hard, but um, I don't think there are. But either way, you have options, and as always, options are good. So there you have Six Gun. Um, yeah, he's cool. I really like these guys. I, I love the Weaponizer dudes. I think they're really fun. I think they're the most fun figures of the line, honestly, because I love how you can just take them apart and use them to weaponize your other figures. So it just adds to the playability of the line as a whole, and that's really cool. I know people are going to complain about the parts forming, but he parts forms with a purpose, and that purpose is to enhance play value, and I'm not going to complain about enhanced play value. I love what you can do with this guy, and the only real limit is your imagination. So yeah, very cool figure on his own. I think he's a really nicely done standalone figure, and uh, a really good companion piece to any of the other figures in this line. So, really, really dig him, so. There you go. Now, these guys are starting to pop up at Walmart, so you can check your local Walmart to see if they have these in stock. You can also check BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so you can check that out. 
You can also check out my Siege playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter. All that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers Siege at Deluxe Class 6 Gun. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek. Be proud. Boom in your face. Hey there, Prime. Yes, six gun. I just had a quick question about our. Hey, hey, six gun. Can, can I have my arms back? I will give these back when I am ready. Fine, jeez. Anyway, um, I, I just had some questions about our uh, battle tactics. Yeah, what about them? I don't know. They just don't seem very uh, very smart. What? My tactics are sound. I mean, come on, Prime. We're just throwing our soldiers back and forth. And we will triumph. Cause it's the Autobot way. And you have no room to talk about battle tactics. You just stole your friend's arms. No, it's all right, I'll lend him mine. So, you're really sure about how we're going about this battle? Of course I am. In fact, Megatron has a surprise coming right about now. Hmm. Maybe if we come around from the south side, we can... So maybe if we come around from the south side, we can...